In this video, I am going to explain factors affecting electrophoretic mobility. In the last video, I explained principal, practical aspects, support media and buffers used in electrophoresis. Link is given in the description box. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe. Now let's start. As I discussed in previous video, electrophoresis is defined as migration of charged particles through a medium under the influence of electric field. Positively charged ions will move towards cathode and negatively charged ions will move towards anode. This migration or movement of molecules will lead to separation of sample mixture. The neutral ions will not show any migration. Electrophoretic mobility is nothing but speed of migration or rate of migration of sample molecules per unit field strength. Rate of migration is measured in centimeter per second and field strength is measured in words per centimeter. It is given by the formula mu is equal to q upon 6 pi r n where mu is electrophoretic mobility Q is net charge on the particle, R is ionic radius of solute and N is viscosity of medium. By observing this formula, the overall sample characteristics and system characteristics are very important in electrophoresis. Now we will see factors affecting electrophoretic mobility in detail. The factors are First factor affecting electrophoretic mobility is net charge on the particle. Second is size and shape of the particle. Third factor affecting is strength of electric field. Fourth one is properties of support medium. Fifth is ionic strength of buffer. Sixth factor is pH of buffer. And seventh factor is temperature or heat generated during the experiment. Now we will see in detail one by one. First factor is net charge on the particle or net charge on the molecule to be separated. If the molecule have higher charge greater will, will be the electrophoretic mobility and this charge depends on pH of. Second factor is size and shape of particles. Large particles have less electrophoretic mobility than small particles because greater frictional and electrostatic forces are exerted by support medium on the large particles. Large particles may get stuck for some time within the support medium and that's why the movement of larger particles will be slow as compared to the movement of small particles. The rate of migration of small particles is more than the large particles. The molecules having round shape will have more electrophoretic mobility than the sharp shapes. Now the molecules with round shape will have more electrophoretic mobility as compared to the sharp shapes like this one because the sharp shape molecules may get adhered or stuck on the support medium and their uh, rate of migration will be slow. Third factor affecting electrophoretic mobility is strength of electric field. It is very important factor. Electric field is given by Ohm's law that is I is equal to V upon R where I is the current flowing through the system, V is voltage applied across electrodes and R is the resistance of system. All these three parameters that is current, voltage and resistance, uh, they individually affect the electrophoretic mobility. Now we will see how they affect. First is voltage. If the voltage applied across the electrodes is increased, it will lead to increase in the rate of migration of sample molecules. Next is current. If the amount of current increases, it will lead to increase in the rate of migration. And last is resistance. If the resistance of system increases, it will lead to decrease in the rate of migration of sample molecules. 
that means volt increase in the voltage and current will increase the rate of migration but increase in the resistance of system will in decrease the rate of migration so in this way strength of electric field will affect electrophoretic mobility now fourth is properties of support medium in this first property is adsorption the support medium such as paper cellulose acetate membrane these used in electrophoresis may show adsorption of sample molecules and if this adsorption is more it may cause telling of sample zones it reduces both rate of migration and resolution one more phenomena shown by support medium such as paper agarose gel glass capillary and the phenomena is electroendosmosis it is seen due to charged groups present on the surface of support medium it is flow of water under the influence of electric field due to presence of immobilized charged groups on the surface of support medium now paper has some carboxylic groups agarose gel has sulfate groups and the cap glass capillary has selenol groups that is hydroxyl groups all these groups are negatively charged now how this uh, electroendosmosis work these negatively charged groups are present on the surface of support medium and they will form a electric bilayer near the surface of support medium positive ions of this electric double layer they may be of buffer or they may be of sample ions when voltage difference is applied across the system these positive ions will start flowing towards cathode pulling the electrophoretic solution with them and this will result in electroendosmosis now due to this electroendosmosis the rate of migration of cations will increase but the rate of migration of anions will decrease next property of support medium is molecular sieving gels have porous structure or sieve like structure in agarose and polyacrylamide gels the movement of large molecules is hindered by decreasing pore size large molecules will not enter the small pores and that's why molecular sieving is not possible in such cases if sapadex gel is used small molecules are tightly held by the pores while the large molecules will exclude the small pores and it will lead to movement of molecules outside the pores which will cause no molecular sieving so if molecular sieving is not possible due to any of the reason uh, the separation will be reduced fifth factor is ionic strength of buffer at high ionic strength of buffer as the ionic strength of buffer increases the amount of current carried by the buffer is increased and the amount of current carried by sample decreases which will lead to decrease in the migration of sample molecules as well as it will increase the overall current flowing through the system and hence increase the heat production now second is at the low ionic strength of buffer as the ionic strength of buffer decreases the amount of current carried by buffer decreases and the amount of current carried by sample will increase which will lead to increase in the rate of migration of sample molecules it will overall decrease the current flowing through the system and hence decrease the heat production that means at high ionic strength the rate of migration will decrease while at low ionic strength the rate of migration of sample molecules will increase next factor is ph of buffer in case of amphoteric sample molecules the charge they are carrying is depending upon ph of system it means that the extent of ionization of such samples depends on ph 
especially in organic uh, samples. Ionization increases with increase in the pH of organic compound. But for organic bases it is reverse. The rate of migration of sample molecules is directly proportional to the magnitude of charge. So pH of buffer is very important in electrophoresis. The last factor is temperature or heat produced during the experiment. Generation of heat due to passage of electric current is a practical problem faced in electrophoresis. Heat generated during electrophoresis will change the viscosity and density of electrophoretic media and it will bring about convection flow of liquid medium which will in turn disturb the zones of separated proteins. Now these are the factors which affect electrophoretic mobility. I hope you understood all these factors. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please share and subscribe.